All right, so that's the Portland Chipper Shredder <laughs> from Harbor Freight, all boxed up. Says it's got a one and a half inch capacity. Like everything with Harbor Freight, take that with a grain of salt. Says it draws 14 amps. AC plug, that end up. Electric chipper, shredder, yeah, you know. Dual action, seven inch blades. Steel frame, circuit breaker, wheels. High impact push stick. All right, so let's get this thing open. So what do we have in here? We have cutting blades. Here they feel fairly sharp. See if I can turn this around a little bit. Yeah, they feel pretty sharp. And they're held in with socket head cap screws, countersunk. Okay, there's the feed chute. This right here is this guy right here for the safety interlock, which is right here to prevent you from turning the machine on when you've got the cover open. So, first design flaw I see is that you'll be using very little of the blade area itself uh, because of the way the infeed is designed here. I may uh, <clears throat> be uh, making modifications to that. I will definitely be making modifications up here. Um, this is just ridiculously uh, small and my opinion doesn't make a whole lot of sense open this back up not sure how that is kept on I think one I think that is kept on with one, uh, two, three, four screws right here. All right, those four screws come out, and this whole little thing here should come off. Um, we'll see how it works tomorrow, and uh, check it out. I'm not gonna put it together tonight I'll put it together when I wake up in the morning while I'm having my coffee and uh, we'll take it from there alright so this little bastard here is not what I would call a great design but you know what the hell We'll get this crank down here. Uh huh. Just now fit in place. I'm thinking that if it won't turn on tomorrow, what have they done here? Ah! Uh, we put a safety cap on it. See how easy that comes off. It came off easy enough. I had to uh, just use my uh, multi-tool and grab it. I was going to plug it in, but as you can see, it's got that on it. To uh, prevent you from doing so. So it does take an extension cord. Alright. Tomorrow is soon enough. What the heck? New toys? Want to play with them? Can't play with them till the morning. Good enough. 
All right. Tomorrow I'll uh, put this thing together, shoot some more video, and uh, when I'm all done, I'll uh, put it all together and show you what I'm doing with it. All right, everybody. There's the uh, shredder. I've got it all put together. The only thing you got to do uh, is put the wheels on right here and put this uh, frame up inside, fasten it down with two screws. Takes about five minutes with a number two screwdriver and a crescent wrench uh, to get it put back, put it together. Got it plugged in and uh here's the first test uh we'll see if it turns on and runs all right it's on and running and so second test we're gonna see if it will take care of this little guy right here let's see what happens shove it down in the chute It started, and there it goes. Push it down some more. Push it down a little more. And here's what came out. I don't think this branch is going to go. Not really. I mean, it's too wide. It gets hung up. Ah, pull it out. Put this little guy in there. It'll go. So we'll pull some of these off. That goes just fine. up like that now we're gonna try some of this here crap ah uh, this is some tough stuff I'm gonna kind of wad it up if you're not wearing gloves for this stuff in the desert you're gonna get hurt let's see that's uh there we go see what it does with this Shove it down in there. That's where you're gonna need this little guy. Help you out a little bit. Got to shove this thing down in here. I can see now that doing the desert brush through this chip and shredder will work. Just gonna take some manipulation to get her done. Gonna have to use the paddle. Does get it done. So the chipper shredder does work. Um, it will take some manipulation. Let's see. Let's try a few more branches here. We'll try this guy. Down it goes. Put this in there. Thread it up. A little bigger branch. Kind of bogged down a little bit, but it got it.
got it in there. So I'm going to shut this off and shred some more stuff, see what happens. Well, that was just way too much fun. <clears throat> so basically, if you can get it down this little ass chute here, this thing's pretty much going to chew it up. I think I uh, mentioned previously that I will probably be removing some of this material. Uh, these little flaps uh, basically prevent chips from coming back up out at you. I, I don't know, I may remove those too. But uh, what you end up with is this stuff here. You'll notice some things just come through intact. Uh, other things get shredded up pretty good. These are uh, wood chips, you know, and the rest of this is just shredded up by uh, desert weed. So it works all right. I don't think there's anything really wrong with it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Uh, go inside and uh, get this thing put together and try to get it posted to YouTube before I uh, have to actually uh, go to work. It's uh, just now 8 o'clock in the morning out here. And it's perfect working temperature right now. In an hour, it'll be too hot. So, here we are in the high desert of Nevada. And I just ran the Portland Chipper Shredder uh, for a little while. You know, maybe... 20 minutes uh, for the very first time and it's doing okay got a few things hanging out here not worried about that stuff all right so we'll leave that there and uh, I'll get this thing posted